Millions of dollars in job training grants will be coming to the greater Lafayette region early next year. It's expected to benefit more than a thousand workers in the field of manufacturing. Here's News 18's Brad Oppenheim with the story. The U.S. Department of Labor announced plans to award $111 million in federal grants used for job training in the manufacturing sector. Better known as the America's Promise Grant, the funds were given to 23 regional workforce partnerships throughout the country. The Region 4 Workforce Board, based in Lafayette, will receive $6 million. This is to um, bolster up, create a pipeline, if you will, of uh, training uh, uh, and educational opportunities that will provide people with the basic skills they need in order to uh, uh, move into some of these career pathways in manufacturing careers. Beginning in January, the four-year grant will serve more than 1,100 workers throughout a 12-county area. Region 4 Workforce Board Executive Director Roger Feldhaus says the grant will open the door for those interested in the field. The purpose of the grant really is to make sure that anybody who's interested in, in getting more training and education to prepare for manufacturing career opportunities, that they, it doesn't cost them anything. Lafayette-based Subaru of Indiana Automotive is one of the partnerships offering job training. Assistant Senior Manager of Human Resources Brad Rohrer says the auto assembly plant offers classroom and hands-on training. A lot of our classroom is dealing with uh, problem solving, troubleshooting, uh, understanding what manufacturing is, how to look at um, problems and take them to the next level and find the root cause, um, and also just learning how to work together as a team and understanding conflict management. Rohrer says he'd like to keep seeing initiatives like this down the road. This really needs to continue for our state uh, and for our region. We're a manufacturing intensive state. Our GDP is really relying on our advanced manufacturing growing and staying strong in Indiana. So we need to prepare workers for that future in that, in that workforce. This is not really about just getting a job in a factory. This is about pursuing a career in, in manufacturing. Reporting in Lafayette, Brad Oppenheim, News 18.